Hi, this is Max Schofield, coming from the Business Development Center here in the Hollyville section of Newtown. I'm joined today with by uh, Tara Almany of All Web Social Marketing, and uh, I'm excited about her doing a presentation here, her seminar. She's going to be our first seminar here at the Business Development Center. She's a great person to get it kicked off. Welcome, Tara. Thanks, Matt. Let me ask you a very simple question. Why should I, as a business owner, be concerned about social media? Well, if you think about the old days, Matt, when you were establishing a business in a town and you were new to town, you would ask your neighbors, the people who went to your church, whatever, who you should be going to for, you know, where do I find the blacksmith? Where's the grocer? And throughout history, word of mouth has been one of the best forms of advertising. You have people recommending one another and people who are saying negative things about certain businesses in town. So you want to be aware of what's being said. Now, before you were at a disadvantage because you couldn't really eavesdrop on those conversations very easily. A lot of word of mouth that takes place these days is actually taking place on the internet, primarily via blogs and various social media sites. So as a small business, you want, really want to be able to manage what's being said online about you. If there's something negative being said, you want to show yourself as a sensitive company by responding to it, by trying to perform customer service right then and there. Interacting with those negative comments actually provides a positive uh, viewpoint of your commitment to your service to people who are eavesdropping on that conversation. In addition, when somebody says something positive about you, you want to be able to thank them, you want to be able to interact with them. If you're looking at products and service development, you want to be able to get the feedback of your customers, and you also want to have an understanding of what your competition is doing online. The internet gives you so much access to so much information, and if you ignore what's being said out there, you're actually doing yourself a disservice in trying to grow your company. Well, that's, that's definitely, that's why we're here talking about social media, because, you know, I see it, um, all my customers are out there, and it's a great way to interact with them. Customer service, even market research is a great place. Definitely. I didn't even think of stuff like that. Prospecting, all of that can be done online. Affiliate marketing. You know, finding people that are in a business related to yours, that you can establish some kind of relationship uh, with, that you can be providing leads to them and, and receiving leads from them. All right. That sounds good. We learned a lot tonight from your seminar. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it, too. Again, I appreciate you being my first seminar speaker. And five, ten years down the road, when we both got businesses thriving, we'll remember this point. In life. I'm sure we will. Thanks again. Thank you. All right. This is Matt Schofield. We're coming from the Business Development Center in Hollyville, and we're here to help you do business.